I don't really meditate on the sun and think about it too much. I'm just receiving what's going on. I start to notice the birds, I start to notice the wind. I, I can f like feel a lot of what's going on. I smell the water at a certain point that the sun rises to. I'm sensitive to these, these details, um, like waking up. The sun, I think, is something that we're running away from. We've been taught to run away from and we taught to cover ourselves up and I think you should do that wisely. Start to listen to both a little bit. It slows down your process and you recognize how much more time there is in a few minutes, how much more love there is between everything that you weren't really acknowledging before because you're like, yeah, yeah, love, love, that's cool, yeah, love. Yeah, birds, yeah, yeah. The leaves, is falling, yeah, it's a squirrel, it's cool. I know what a squirrel is. What? I know what a squirrel is. <laughs> you know, it's like, look at that squirrel. <laughs> Watch that squirrel. You know, it's different. One of the rituals of sun gazing is is believed to just take it in at 10 seconds at a t increments. Like your first day, just do it for 10 seconds. Don't over OD on the sun. Just take it in and do it wisely, intuitively, listening to yourself about it. But otherwise, yeah, I always felt that it was, don't do that, stay away from that. So, but you've changed your mind. I've changed my mind. <laughs> well, I thought it was worth the experiment. I think you should challenge some of these ideas that you're told. Um, within reason, your reason, you know? Go to the sun, go to the morning. What's it like to be up at sunrise? When do you remember doing that? Like, other than staying up all night and seeing it. <laughs> um, but just go to it, check it out, see what's there. And um, do something different. I come to the morning also because of it it ignites creativity. I feel like I explode down here and the rest of the day I'm, I'm just with that creativity. Whether it's music, movement, teaching, anything I'm doing, it's ignited from this creativity. But this has just kind of slowed down and, and I can look at somebody in the eyes a little differently and, and listen to them differently. And, Everything is just more calm, more calm. Gosh, why is this always the hardest thing? Sorry, it's not the hardest thing. What am I talking about? This is so simple. My name is Daniel Giel. I'm 40 years old. I'm a dancer, musician, and body worker in New York City for the past 15 years. Anything else? <laughs>